The Municipal Auditorium was founded in conjunction with the celebration of Armistice Day, which marked the end of World War I. Now, Armistice Day is celebrated the 11th month, the 11th day, the 11th hour. It happened in 1918. Now, for all of you numerologists out there, the Municipal Auditorium was built and dedicated on the 11th anniversary of Armistice Day. The first manager, her name was Frances Allen. And in the Shreveport Times in 1918, she writes, the Municipal Memorial Auditorium belongs to the public and it should be the civic center of Shreveport. She goes on to say, the auditorium can take care of every sort of gathering from grand opera to prize fights. I find that really interesting just because there's such a wide variety of events that takes place here and has taken place for years. Circuses, cotillions, dances, music events, religious events. And I feel like her quote really sums up the fact that from the beginning, they realized that this would be a space that hosted a variety of functions. A few years ago, the Friends of the Municipal, the City of Shreveport, and several other organizations across the state got together and were able to get the uh, Shreveport Municipal Auditorium on the National Registry of Historic Places. And so that was a distinction that needed to you know, have happened uh, years ago. And so I think for this incredible facility, that's just a, a great addition. The City of Shreveport and the Lowell McFarland American Legion were instrumental in building this facility for the community. It was a gathering place, um, whether they had symphonies or theater. Um, Betty Davis read Carl Sandburg's poetry from the stage. There was a huge amount of entertainment. It was the focal center of the community in its day. Well, not only did we have a wonderful past, there's going to be a wonderful future for the building. Uh, the citizens of Shreveport just passed a bond issue of $4.3 million of upgrades to the facility. Not only that, the national promoters, uh, the Elton Johns, the Billy Joels, the promoters that bring the large concerts are now paying attention to the Shreveport Municipal Auditorium because of the involvement of SMG, the management company that I work for. Um, so not only that, uh, so we have a lustrous past. We're going to have a wonderful future and we're going to get this place rocking again.